Okay, so hello and welcome to yes another gaming masters video. So in today's video, I'm going to be providing you a tutorial on how to connect to the Venice Unleashed alternative version of Battlefield Three, and it's currently in open beta and it provides all of the extra facilities of which aren't provided in the main game as the game's no longer supported by uh, EA so it gives you the extra options of spectator mode, hosting your own servers, removing like the really glary sun and the blue tint around the UI and stuff like that so you can do that all by yourself I'm recording this commentary separately from the video and haven't got the video playing in the background at the moment so it may partially be out of sync however i'm going to give an audio description of what you've got to do and then also an on-screen description of what you've got to do so first up you want to search venice venice unleashed on google and then go on to the venice unleashed unleashed website which is going to be linked below, it's .net and you want to go on to the downloads page and click on the download installer there is also another version of which is for Battlefield Bad Company 2 so if you want to try that out you can also try that out and once you have re once you've enabled this and install the client you'll want to create your account for the venice unleashed servers which uses an emulator nexus account and you want to link that to your origin all of which i am providing instructions to on the screen once you have linked your origin account to verify that you have a battlefield 3 license on pc this is a pc only feature uh, you will want to log in to the Venice Unleashed client and then join a server and test it out. I will be having a video released on Friday of which I shall have some recorded gameplay at Venice Unleashed for you. So once you've installed the Venice Unleashed client you've got to accept everything and enable pop-ups etc as I am showing you on the screen. Uh, it can sometimes be falsely picked up by antivirus programs. Reasoning behind that is because it's a um, piece of software which is like third party as such. So it's not got any like official licenses behind it. However, it is perfectly fine. I know loads of people which play it in the Battlefield community and I play it as well. I wouldn't install anything that could possibly affect my PC and wouldn't share anything that could affect your PC on this channel. So once you've downloaded it, installed it and created your account, linked your account to your origin account and verified your account etc. Uh, it may require two step verification when you're linking your origin possibly. Once all of that is done, just pop into a server and enjoy. Hopefully you will have good fun on this experience. I'm just going to outline some of the extra features that this enables. Uh, I am going through at different paces and different steps at different times according to the video. So this is the basic version of how to do it if you want to go through all of the steps. I suggest you focus on the video, not on the commentary. Anyway, some of the features that are enabled is spectator mode, private server hosting, so you can host your own server, high frequency servers, so refresh rates that are now available in Battlefield 4, you can run in Battlefield 3, you can remove the sun, uh, that are really, re is really annoying in Battlefield 3 main game, blue tint, etc, which is also sometimes annoying. Uh, you can also create your own content with their own version of Frostbites and mods, user-generated content, etc. 
multiple soldiers so you can have different players set up at the same time and setting resetting stats etc start from scratch and things like that so yeah it's a fair it's got a variety of features obviously that's not everything and there are also forums available so if you do have any problems people can help you out on the forums with that if you do want any more help leave a comment down below in the d comments obviously and i'll be able to help you out and if you want to watch through the video again and just focus on the video because the commentary has been too quick or too confusing that's perfectly fine just watch through the video again and follow the steps on the video for the detailed method of how being finding out how to do this if you just want to the commentary that's done now thank you for watching don't forget to like follow and of course as always subscribe it's very much appreciated and i shall see you in the next video which will be gameplay from this Venice Unleashed mod for Battlefield 3.